All right, welcome back, everybody. ASAP Grim here, and this is the continuation of our second Chronicle and Mass Effect Legendary Edition. This is Mass Effect 2. And, uh, let's see. Shoot, I forgot. What was the last thing I did? Jacob's mission, right? Let's look at the journal. We were going to go... Actually, it's going to be easier if I just look at the map. That'll remind me. Okay, go to the mass relay. Okay, we were going to go help Tally. I checked out the audio for the last episode. I felt like the the action audio when we're in combat, as well as the, I guess, the cutscene audio, uh, is right. It, it's just about where I'd like it. I don't think I need to make any other adjustments. So, let's maybe... Okay, there's nothing to check here. How am I doing on fuel? There we go. All right, let's find out about uh, Tally's trial. A fleet of 50,000 craft holding over 17 million quarians. The migrant fleet is the largest array of spacefaring vessels in the known galaxy. Though quarians on pilgrimage have visited most settled worlds in the galaxy, few outsiders have ever stepped foot inside the quarian ships. Okay. course we'll be taking Tally and uh, Garrus I think okay we're good on points Tally's good on points Garrus can get another rank of overload Talizora Vasnima Naraya, requesting permission to dock with Araya. Our system has your ship flag the Cerberus. Verify. After time adrift among open stars, along tides of light and through shoals of dust, I will return to where I began. Permission granted. Welcome home, Talizora. We'd like a security and quarantine team to meet us. Our ship is not clean. Understood. Approach exterior docking cradle 17. Captain Shepard, Tally Zora told me a lot about you. I wish we could be meeting under more pleasant circumstances. Maybe we could... I, th I think actually, I, I usually I like to lead off with something sort of to, uh, an icebreaker, but I think I just directly ask, what is going on here? What are the charges against Tally, Captain? The charge is treason, and the punishment if she is found guilty is exile. You know me, Captain. You know I never do that. They're charging you with bringing active Geth into the fleet as part of a secret project. That's insane. I never brought active Geth aboard. I only sent parts and pieces. <laughs> Let's deal with that later, Tally. What's our next step, Captain? Technically, I'm under orders to place Tally Zora under arrest pending the hearing. So, Tally, you're confined to this ship until this trial is over. Thank you, Captain. Preparations got underway as soon as you arrived. The hearing's being held in the Garden Plaza. Good luck. Is there anything else? Maybe we can ask him some more questions. You should speak with Admiral Ra. She's waiting for you up ahead. Copy. 
I can't believe they're charging Tali Zora with such a Tali Zora can't even get a Korean captain to stand for her. She's as good as can be. Uh. Tali Zora vs. Normandy. I am glad you came. I could delay them only so long. Auntie Ron! I know that Shepherd voice. Normandy, this is Admiral Shalaran Vastonbe. She's a friend of my father's. Wait, Ron, you called me Vast Normandy. I'm afraid I did, Tally. The Admiralty Board moved to have you tried under that name, given your departure from the Nemo. That's neat. This is the lady from The Expanse. So she started out as a voice actor in video games. Well, I don't know that for sure, but she's doing voice acting. And then she became a, a full-fledged actress, I guess you might call it. I don't want to be insulting to voice actors. That, that sounds a little bit insulting to voice actors, but you guys know what I mean. Because um, I've seen her in a few different movies now. I think two. I've seen her in The Expanse, and there was something else I saw her in. Okay, the Admiralty Board moved to have you tried under that name, given your departure from the Nima. Okay. Are you part of the trial? Why does her name matter? Yeah. I mean, I can kind of guess, but let's find out. I take it being associated with the human ship is a bad sign. They stripped me of my ship name. That's as good as declaring me exiled already. It's not over yet, Tali. You have friends who still know you as Tali Zora Vasnima. Whatever we must call you legally. Okay. You're an admiral. Does that mean you're one of the judges? I'm afraid not. My history with Tali and her father forced me to recuse myself. Right. I imagine father had to do the same. You'll see inside, Tali. For my part, I moderate and ensure that the rules of protocol are followed, but I have no vote in the judgment. Gosh, I hope he's not part of the trial. She, she, she was non-committal on that. I don't know how to phrase... From his perspective, if he is able to rule impartially, then then whatever you know and i think there are people that are able to do that it, it would kind of depend on the person as well as the relationship between the two not father and daughter but um regardless of whether he's able to do that or not emotionally for her that would be a hard hit I guess we should get started. Does Tally have a defense counselor? Someone who speaks for her side? Indeed she does, Captain Shepard. She is part of your crew now, recognized by Quarian law. And remember, an accused is always represented by his or her ship's captain. So, uh, you would actually speak for my defense? I mean, I want to say I'm honored, but I'm also a little bit concerned about are there legal precedents that I'm unaware of? Are there technicalities? I would want to ask that question, but I I would lead, I would say this. I, over, way, way over and above these. I just would like that follow-up question. I'll do everything in my power to help you, Tally. Thank you, Shepard. I could not ask for a better counselor. Our legal rules are simple. There are no legal tricks or political loopholes for you to worry about. Present the truth as best you can. It will have to be enough. Now come. I promise that I would not delay you. All right, simple enough. So, remember her story of the other person that got in trouble. Intent is not an issue here. It's whether she's guilty or not, whether she intended it or not.
This conclave is brought to order. Blessed are the ancestors who kept us alive, sustained us, and enabled us to reach this season. Kill us a lie. Yes. The accused Talia Zora of Us Normandy has come with her captain to defend herself against the charge of treason. Objection! A human has no business at a hearing involving such sensitive military matters. Then you should not have declared Talia crew of the Normandy, Admiral Chorus. By right as Talia's captain, Shepard must stay. Objection withdrawn. Shepard Vas Normandy, your crew member Tali Zora stands accused of treason. Will you speak for her? If it helps Tali, I will. But in her heart, she remains Tali Zora Vas Nima, a proud member of the migrant fleet. I regret that our captain is forbidden to stand at her side today. Nobody has been forbidden from anything. It is a simple... Lie to them if you must, Talcoris, but don't lie to me and expect me to stay silent. The human is right. Admirals, please. Shepard's willingness to represent Tali Zora in this hearing is appreciated. Tali, you're accused of bringing active guests to the migrant fleet. What say you? How could Tally have brought guests to the fleet while serving on the Normandy? To clarify, Shepard, Tally isn't accused of bringing back entire units, only parts that could spontaneously reactivate. But I would never send active guests to the fleet. Everything I sent was disabled and harmless. Then explain how Geth seized the lab ship where your father was working. Oh no, is her father dead? What are you talking about? What happened? As far as we can tell, Tally, the Geth have killed everyone on the Alarai. Oh Your my father gosh. included. What? Oh, Kila. I'm kind of tempted to do that, but let's not go with that. Let's not be rash. Or emotionally charged. I appreciate the need for this trial, Admirals. But right now, our first concern must be the safety of the migrant fleet. The Normandy stands ready to assist in whatever capacity necessary. Thank you. Quarry and strike teams have attempted to retake the ship. So far, without success. Shepard, we have to take back the Alarai. The safest course would be to simply destroy the ship. But if you are looking for an honorable death instead of exile... I'm looking for my father, you bastard! You intend to retake the Alarai from the Geth? This proposal is extremely dangerous. I mean, I would volunteer to do this regardless, right? Um from a video game context they are letting you know that this is exceptionally dangerous but um but let's not do something for nothing right let's let's try to secure her freedom you think tally's helping the geth maybe killing a few dozen will prove her loyalty we do not accuse tally of aiding the geth cause we accuse her of carelessness that endangered the fleet then it is decided you will attempt to retake the Alarai. You are hereby given leave to depart the Raya. A shuttle will be waiting at the secondary docking hangar. Be safe, Tally. This hearing will resume upon your return, or upon determination that you have been killed in action. Thank you for agreeing to take back the Alarai, Shepard. The Admiral sounds sure that my father is already dead, but... I don't know. We won't know anything until we get there.
Is there anyone here you want to talk to before we go? We can talk with the admirals. It might help us to see what their viewpoints are. But I doubt we'll change anyone's mind by talking to them privately. How are you holding up? They just threw a lot of fire at you, even before telling you about your father. I knew this would be bad, but I guess you're never really prepared to be charged with treason. And my father, I... I don't know. He... he could still be alive. They don't know for certain that he's dead. I just don't know, Shepard, and I need to find out. Let's go. Right. The sooner we get to the Alarai, the sooner we'll know what happened. Shepard, the secondary docking hangar is through the Conclave chamber where you are now. The shuttle they have provided is unarmed. Understood. Whatever Geth are on the Alarai have likely built more of themselves. Expect heavy resistance. All right, three-man team to take on an army. You set me up, Shala. You told Captain Donna not to say anything? I don't hear that my father may be dead until I'm in the trial? Why? The Admirals needed to hear the shock in your voice, Tali. Otherwise, they might not have let you try to retake the Alaray. That is your best chance at recovering evidence that can exonerate you. I am sorry. We cannot afford sensitivity, Tali. Are the judges that set on finding her guilty? Anything involving the Geth is a live wire, Shepard. But there is still hope. And girls greatly respects both you and Tali Zora for stopping Saren. Admiral Koresh sees the whole thing as a war crime and wants to convict. I have no idea what Admiral Zen wants. You should get to the Alarai soon. Is there anything else I can tell you? What can you tell us about the Alarai? Not much, I'm afraid. Real Zoro only said that he was researching new defense technology. He told me only that he needed any Geth parts or pieces I found. I assumed he was testing weapons on Geth components. We knew nothing until the Alarai sent a distress signal, then went dead. We didn't even know about the Geth until a boarding team was attacked. You're saying there's no data about the inside of the ship? That's exactly what I am saying. The Marines who survived and escaped saw bodies in the halls. We must assume the worst. No, we don't. How long have you known Tally's family? Since before Riel was an admiral. 25 or 30 years, I'd guess. I was there when Tally was born. Her mother and I had synced up our suits so we could be in the same open air room. I was sick for a week, but it was worth it. I was the one who took Tali from her mother and put her in the bubble. She cried so hard. I don't understand. You put your children in bubbles? Environmental units. It's a step between relying on the mother's immune system through nursing and getting a suit of one's own. The bubbles let parents take their children out of the clean room safely. We don't wear suits until adolescence. There's a celebration when a child gets her first suit. It's a coming of age. I'm not hearing much about Rail's involvement in Tally's life. It's difficult to explain. I shouldn't. It's all right, Anshala. No secrets between shipmates. I think I told Shepard about my father. If you say so, Rail was committed to the Quarian cause. That didn't leave him a lot of time for his family. He wanted to give Tally and her mother the home world, or a strong fleet at least. That was how he showed his love. Yeah, I mean, I can understand that. Everybody's got a different love language. That's actually one of the problems with relationships. Is that, um... Some people's love languages don't actually meet the needs or the desires of the other persons. That's how you get bad matches. What kind of evidence will carry weight with the Admirals? Tally, you admitted to sending Geth parts to your father for his project. Yes, but never anything that could have come back online on its own. I took every possible precaution. Then find records of your shipment and experiments. Something that proves you were careful. Something that proves that this is all just a terrible accident that nobody could have foreseen. 
There seem to be some other arguments going on among the admirals. You caught that? Yes, the guest presence makes this a touchy issue. The Admiralty Board is trying to determine whether to focus on colonial development or attempt to retake the homeworld. You're thinking of war with the Geth? I am not, Tali, but others are. I know the migrant fleet is formidable, but even you can't take on the Geth. We grow tired of wandering the stars, Shepard. We want our world back. We have paid enough for our mistake. I'm not giving you my opinion. I'm telling you which way the wind is blowing. Yeah, I get that. We should move on. Good luck on the Alarai. I really like her. She's really fantastic. I don't know what it is I like about her. her the pacing of her uh, rhetoric, uh, her accent helps. I like her accent. That's just obviously a subjective thing. Um, she's got a richness to her voice. I don't know. There, there's intonation. She's not monotonous, obviously. If anyone can retake... Tally. I'm glad Admiral Rahn got you leave to hit the Alarai. Hopefully you'll find something that clears your name. I'm more concerned with finding my father, Admiral. I wish you luck. Blow up some geth on the way. And your Captain Shepard, Admiral Hangarol Vasnima. You got Admiral Corris backing up worse than a Krogan toilet. I'm glad to see Tally's captain knows how to handle a courtroom. I don't want to put him necessarily in this position. I'm just here to help Tally, Admiral. I'm glad someone is. You believe I'm innocent, don't you, Admiral? I know you and your father. You put too much of yourselves into this fleet to do anything to jeopardize our safety. And you're both smart enough not to make mistakes like the ones they're saying you made. Could you tell me anything about the Alarai? Nothing good. We sent some of our best marines into that hellhole. Damn few made it back. Whatever Rail was doing, it blew up in his face. The ship is crawling with geth. Don't go in expecting survivors. Admiral, my father, your friend, is on that ship. I know that, Tally. But if Shala hadn't suggested you might volunteer, we'd already have destroyed the Alarai. That's where we stand. You and Tally's father go back a long ways? We served together on the gunship Yaska during a bad Batarian raid. We were kids, serving pre-pilgrimage as trainees. A crew of ten, and six were dead. Kinetic barriers were down. Rail and I were alone on the bridge, and the Batarians had drawn off a tramp freighter. Did you save the freighter? Our ship was under orders to hold position, but Rail looked at me and said, We're underage. They can't charge us for breaking formation. <laughs> he took the helm, I took weapons, and we brought that freighter back. The crew called us heroes, the brass called us idiots. They slapped medals on our suits, then kicked us off to pilgrimage a bit earlier than usual. <laughs> That's Rail for you. Did I click that one? Can you tell me about the other admirals? Anything that might help me change their minds about Tally? The one you didn't recognize Tally is Admiral Zen. She's on the fence. She takes fleet safety very seriously. On the other hand, she's always been in favor of studying the Geth. I hope she sees the benefits of Rail's research. <laughs> Admiral Corris is the same whining suit wetter he always was. You disagree with Admiral Corris's policies, I'm guessing. Or is it personal? The man is a damn geth apologist. Thinks Ugh. we were wrong to try to destroy them centuries ago. He wants us to search for new colony possibilities instead of taking back the home world. Any research on the geth makes him angry. You don't have much of a chance with him, I'm afraid. It sounds like we're dealing with more politics than just Tally bringing back equipment. Yeah, that's exactly what it sounds like. You noticed that, did you? Tally's father wasn't just running weapons tests on the Geth for fun. 
He was looking for something to give us an edge when we attacked the Geth in full-scale war. I know Father wanted to retake the homeworld someday, but are we that close? I don't know, kid. We almost had the vote. We just need to give people hope for victory. Hey, FYI, guys, we're sort of, um... Well, I, at least in my mind, I am playing this like we're in suspended animation. If this was us in the real world, Tally's father, we don't know that he's dead yet. He may very well, I mean, f for us as an exterior third person party from everything we're hearing from everybody, he's very likely dead. But for Tally's emotional well-being, we would have gone immediately. We would have bypassed all of these people and we would have gotten onto that ship and started digging. Um, just so that she, if we did find a dead body, she's not haunted by the, you know, the minutes spent uh, discussing things with people. So I'm doing this because we're playing a video game and we want to click these options and let the dialogue unfold to get the full story and context. But again, in my mind, this is like time has paused. I hope the Quarian people find some place to live, Admiral. But it sounds like you're playing with fire. We're too comfortable now, Shepard. We've got the largest fleet in the galaxy and we just ride around doing nothing. We might need that fleet to help fight the Reapers, Admiral. Then we need a world to shelter our non-combatants while we do it. Nah, not a bad point. Thanks for the information. Hang in there, kid. Thank you, Admiral. Judging by your ability to play to a crowd, human, I have done Talia a favor by stripping Vas Nima from her name. Commander Shepard, this is Admiral Zalcoris Vas Quib Quib. Do not ask about the name. I take no pleasure in this, Tali, truly. But you have gravely endangered and dishonored our fleet. Can you tell me anything about the Alarai? Only that you should have let us destroy it. When we find the evidence of what Tali and her father did there, any hope of convincing the other admirals will die. I did not bring active death to the Alarai, Admiral. I know how dangerous that would be. I only brought pieces. The captured ship, with its crew slaughtered by living beings in pain, belies your argument. You have a ship named Quib Quib? Oh, here we go. Our people have, during difficult periods, purchased pre-owned vessels from other cultures. And have, on occasion, had difficulty altering the ship's registry information. The citizens of these foreign-named ships have borne the stigma of these names with grace and honor. If it bothers you, maybe you should find another ship. I've occasionally entertained the idea of requesting a transfer. Something with a nice, respectable name, like the Defrens or the Ictomy. But I am proud of the Quip Quip. And I will not flee because of petty insults. What exactly is your problem with my crew member, Admiral? I respect Tali immensely. Her actions against Saren are to be lauded. But, like her father, she wants nothing but the destruction of the Geth. The people we created, the people we wronged. The Geth drove us from our homeworld. Of course they did. We tried to kill them. Yeah, it sounds like you're the only Admiral who feels this way. I don't think Tolly's head should be lying on that docket, based on a whim of uh, one Admiral. You and the other admirals appear to have some disagreements beyond Tali's trial. You are correct. Tali, I apologize for it being brought into your proceedings. The other admirals are pushing for war. Rail Zora was researching new weapons to use against the Geth. They would see our fleet destroyed in the skies over our homeworld, rather than find a new colony and adapt. Can the Quarians coexist with the Geth after all your history? I don't know. We all deserve to find out. They are our children, Shepard. We have all done horrible things to each other, but it has to end. For both groups. That is why I cannot sanction whatever experiments you helped enable, Talizora. I believe this message needs to be sent. I understand, Admiral. I do not agree with you, but I understand. We should move on. 
Goodbye, Talizora. Be well. I'm surprised to hear you say that. I don't hate you, Tali. I just think your father's plans for war were wrong. Yeah, but that's a cold heart to use that as a political maneuver to try and get your minority opinion that kind of shoveled down the throat of the entire fleet. If that he, it's obviously, it's very obviously a political maneuver meant to create sentiment in favor of his position and cast doubt on the position of everybody else. And you're using a life for that. That's disgusting, you know, but this is what happens in the real world. I don't think that guy resents a single solitary thing. I think that dude is a sociopath or psychopath. His lack, his ability to empathize is not present. Talizora and Farah are out of control. This is on their heads. I didn't expect a human to be such a good speaker. Talizora Vas Nima. Oh, uh, sorry. I mean Vas Normandy. No offense taken. The change in name was not my choice. Per Admiral Rand's orders, the shuttle is prepared for you and Captain Shepard of Vast Normandy. Can you tell us anything about what we'll find on the Alarai? I'm afraid I don't know much. Not many Marines made it back from the initial assault. They talked about massive waves of geth, though. More than there should have been. There shouldn't have been any at all. Uh, right. I mean that they're afraid the geth are building or repairing more of themselves from materials on the Alarai. Okay. Let's head to the Alarai. Of course. I'll unlock the shuttle now. Good luck with those geth, Talizora. Kill us alive. Selected. Hostiles up ahead. What less to worry about? This is one of the storage units I sent to father. Looks like parts from a disabled repair drone, plus a reflex algorithm that I didn't recognize. I got this on Haystrom. What made a part worth sending back to your father? It had to be in working order, something that could be analyzed and integrated into other technology. Anything new had priority. Technology the Geth had developed themselves. Signs of modification. Clues to their thinking. How did you get these things to your father? Sometimes I left packages at secure drops in civilized areas. Someone on pilgrimage would see that it was shipped home. For very valuable finds, I'd signal home and father would send a small ship. Hastrum was a war zone. How did you salvage gear in the middle of all that? These suits have more pockets than you'd think. Quarians have learned how to salvage whatever we can, whenever we can. Within reason. We're not Vorcha, but we repair what most people would throw away. Hundreds of the ships in our fleet were salvaged wrecks, either found dead in space or purchased for next to nothing. That's cool. 
Did that salvaged gear give you a clue as to what happened here? No, I don't know. Shepard, I checked everything I sent here. I passed up great finds because they might be too dangerous, prone to uncontrolled reactivation or self-repair. I don't know which possibility is worse. That I got sloppy and sent something dangerous, or that Father actually did all this. Well, we got green, purple, followed by white, orange. White, orange, green. sounded believable. Resistor, symbol, camp, resistor, ground, camp, oh, yikes, well, we lost out on that one. This console might have something. Most of the data is corrupted, but a few bits are left. They were performing experiments on Geth systems, looking for new ways to overcome Geth resistance to reprogramming. Do you think testing weapons on the Geth was right? It's not testing weapons on prisoners, Shepard. I only sent Father parts. Even if he assembled them, they wouldn't be sapient. You saw what Saren and Sovereign did with the Geth. Any research that gives us an advantage is important. I don't even know why he would ask that. Well, I mean, I can see how some, uh, what I'm admitting to is that within myself, that's a stupid question. I could see how other people might feel differently, but to me, the Geth is their enemy. The, and like she said, that they're not torturing anybody or shooting prisoners or anything. 
I, just, I didn't get that angle. Did you know what kind of tests your father was running? No, father just told me to send back any Geth technology I could find that wasn't a direct danger to the fleet. I suspected he might be testing weapons, but I thought he was just working on new ways to bypass shields or armor. Could any of that data clear your name? Doubtful. This is mostly results data, effects of different disruptive hacking techniques. I don't understand all of it. But they may have been activating the Geth deliberately. I don't know. Nothing here says specifically, but if they were, then Father was doing something terrible. What was all this, Father? You promised you'd build me a house on the homeworld. Was this going to bring us back home? Uh, no, no comment. We should keep moving. Right. Or, or an onboard medical stasis program, maybe. You, you wouldn't. They're wrong. You wouldn't just die like this. You wouldn't leave me to... Hey. Hey, come here. Damn it. Damn it. I'm sorry. You've got nothing to be sorry about. Maybe he would have known I'd come. Maybe he left a message. Tally, if you are listening, then I am dead. The guests have gone active. I don't have much time. Their main hub will be on the bridge. You'll need to destroy it to stop their VI processes from forming new neural links. Make sure 
Dad. I don't know if I want to comment on this because I don't know where she's at. This is going to be a point where she's very, I don't know what word to use. Like, I want to say emotionally volatile, but I don't mean angry. I mean, she could shift and how she's feeling dramatically and in very quick intervals. So maybe just stick to mission stuff. I think the more I think about this, the more I, this is where I would go. Let her be, she's an emotional hurricane right now. We need to be an anchor. And one of the ways that you be an anchor is you just stay on mission. You stick to the basics you stay focused on the primary objective. Let her be emotional. Do you want to get your father back to the shuttle? No. <clears throat> Leave him. The mission comes first. It's what he would have wanted. Come on, let's finish this. that guy until it was too late okay so we we can't let them get our flanks I might need to actually direct my people on this one you got it on it console is linked to the main hub father mentioned. Disabling it shut down any geth we missed. It looks like some of the recordings remained intact. They'll tell us how this happened, what father did. We need to hear it. Play the recording. Do we have enough parts to bring more online? Yes, the new shipment from your daughter will let us add two more geth to the network. We're nearing a breakthrough on systemic viral attacks. Perhaps we should inform the Admiralty Board, just to be safe. No. We're too close. I promised to build my daughter a house on the home world. I'm not going to sit and wait while the politicians argue. We'd have an easier time of it if Tally Zora could send back more working material. Absolutely not. I don't want Tally exposed to any political blowback. Leave Tally out of this. Assemble new guests with what we have. Bypass security protocols if need be. It sounds like he was doing this for you. I never wanted this, Shepard. Keela, I never wanted this. Everything here is his fault. I, 
I tried to pretend it didn't point to him, but this... I see. When this comes up in the trial, they'll... We can't tell them. Not the admirals, not anyone. I kind of broke my own promise. I was staying neutral the entire time, but... On that last one, I felt like he phrased it a little bit. He, he said something I didn't expect instead of staying on mission. I mean, it worked out anyway because it refocused her, but it's not how I thought it was going to play out. So on this one, I went ahead and went with a positive answer. And um, I still think it turned out okay because it... She... Uh, She's thinking it through. Gosh, this is a harsh answer, but this is the one that I think is the most true. I would lead off with this and then say this. I don't think it's going to give me that option, but I'm uh, this up here. It doesn't imply this, but the the logical follow on is that it, I think includes this. Tally, without this evidence, you're looking at exile. You think I don't know that? You think I want to live knowing that I can never see the fleet again? But I can't go back into that room and say that my father was the worst war criminal in our people's history. I cannot. Oh, it does give me the opportunity. Oh, it's going to piss her off. Th this is, oh boy, this is the time you have to be willing to be the bad guy, though. Let her beat up on you if it's necessary, but this moment is really important. Rail Zora doesn't need you to worry about him anymore. You heard him say he didn't want you to be caught in the politics. You don't understand, Shepard. They would strike his name from the manifest of every ship he ever served on. He would be worse than an exile. He'd be a traitor to our people, held up for children as a monster in a cautionary tale. I can't let all the good he did be destroyed for this, Shepard. Oh, man. That sounded very believable. We're not going to decide anything here. Let's see what the Admiral say once we get back. You're my captain in this hearing, Shepard. It's your decision. Oh my god. But please, <laughs> don't destroy what my father was. Come on. If we wait too long, they'll decide we're already dead, and none of this will matter. Dude. We need to face facts. There has been no war. This no is reason suck. to think Tali Zora survived. It sounds like the hearing is already underway. Warrior Marines lasted less than five. Very well. Is the Admiralty Board prepared to render judgment? Sorry, we're late. Now, let's not hurl accusations. It's, it's still a sensitive situation. We took back the ship. Just nothing but the facts, right? We cleared the Geth from the Alari. It should be safe for your people to return. Thank you. We sincerely appreciate your efforts to aid the Quarian people. Did you find anything on the Alari that could clarify what happened there? Here it is. Shepard, please. Does Captain Shepard have any new evidence to submit to this hearing? I am not going to do this. You know, like, there's room to say she's emotionally compromised and not thinking straight. I don't think you have the right to assume that. I think you have to assume she's of sound mind 
and that was her wish. So we're not going to betray her, and that's exactly what this would be. I know that I've said you have to be willing to be the bad guy sometimes, but this is this is. I think she's she was of sound mind when she said it, or even if I have to assume it, that's what I would assume that she was of sound mind. She sounded like she was thinking pretty clearly. I don't think rally the crowd either. I want to try this one. Tally helped me defeat Saren and the Geth of the Citadel. That should be all the evidence you need. I fail to see what relevance. You're not really interested in Tally, are you? This trial isn't about her. It's about the Geth. This hearing has nothing to do with the Geth. You want people to sympathize with them. And Geralt wants to go to war. None of you care about Tally. She knows more about the Geth than any other Quarian alive. You should be listening to her, not putting her on trial. Tali Zora saved the Citadel. She saved the Alarai. She showed the galaxy the value of the Quarian people. I can't think of stronger evidence than that. that was Are the Admirals response. prepared to render the judgment? Ali Zora, in light of your history of service, we do not find sufficient evidence to convict. You are cleared of all charges. Commander Shepard, please accept these gifts in appreciation for you taking the time to represent one of our people. I don't, I don't think I would say any of these guys. Well, I'm kind of tempted to say this one. I mean, it is what most of them feel, from what I can tell. But see, that's the key, from what I can tell. You, you're messing with their internal politics and their culture. And I, I just, I think it's better to just say thank you. And as Shepard was giving that comment, it reminded me that, it, like he said it, this isn't about tally, this is about politics. And if it's about politics, if, if that's correct, if it's actually about politics, then when you, now I don't know how their politics work. I don't know if they vote people in or not. But if you threaten them in front of their own people, if you if you threaten their position, if you make if you if you're able to successfully, because when you're talking about politics, you're not usually talking about fact or fiction, truth or lie. That's unfortunate, but it's true. You're talking about narrative, and if you can frame the narrative as uh, these people um, not holding the interest of their people in mind then it changes how they vote in front of everybody, right? So, in that case, rally the crowd might have been a good choice. I'm just, like I say, I'm not sure if they're voted in. See, if you're in a democracy where votes count, then it, the popularity contest matters. But in this situation, I'm not really sure. But I liked that the, I liked how Shepard's speech kind of called them out for what what was really going on I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna say thank you here it was an honor to speak for my friend admirals this hearing is concluded go in peace talizor of us normandy kill us alive i can't believe you pulled that off what you said I've never had anyone speak like that on my behalf. Thank you for being there for my father and me. Even when... Thank you. Yeah, and I thought it was especially good that he pointed out that she showed the entire galaxy the value of Aquarian. I'm 
Let's go with this one. I wasn't gonna let Talizora Vas Normandy get exiled on my watch. Thank you, Captain. We can use this. Okay. So, um, the other thing that I was thinking too, whenever I was trying to, not really trying, because I'd already made my decision, but whenever I decided against presenting the evidence that Tally asked us to withhold, uh, the other thing that I thought was in play there was that the fact that she passed her trial by combat. So I thought there was a pretty good chance that um, she would be reinstated to the fleet even without evidence. And then that combined with her very explicit request, I thought was a really strong argument in favor of not betraying her loyalty there. The admirals thought they were hobbling you by forcing you to represent her, Shepard. I'm glad they were wrong. You didn't mention survivors. Did you find real Tali? I am sure he would have left you a message if it had time. I've got an answer. I mean, I don't want to say that. We found Rail's body. He left a message for Tally. I can only imagine how horrible this is for you, child. But at least you got to hear your father tell you he loved you. Yes. Thank you, Admiral. Good luck on your mission. No matter how dark it gets, the fleet is always with you. Kill us a lie. I can't believe... You called us on the carpet out there, Shepard, and you were right. Thank you. Tally shouldn't have been involved in that argument. Tell me, though, honestly, what did you find over there? You spoke well, but I know a faint when I see it. Oh, man, I don't want to say any of these things. Tally, is there anything the Admiral should know? We found a lot of dead bodies, Admiral. Including my father's, that's all. Whatever research they were doing was destroyed. I'll take your word for it, Tally. Not that I have much choice. Fight well, and fly safe, kid. Your father would be proud of you. I don't ha I don't like how these, uh, I don't mind the questions. I don't like the answer options. So we're not even gonna talk to that guy. We're out of here, man. I don't wanna give up Tally's secret. Tally Zora has been cleared of all charges and her trust in Shepard ensures her loyalty on the mission. Political ramifications of Quarian war efforts against Geth are troubling. Likely to need Quarian forces against Reapers. Cannot risk additional instability. Energy drain. Drains enemies' kinetic barrier power to boost your shields. Oh, that's pretty cool. She got a new outfit. And we got tech damage and credits. All right. Okay. Let's go see if we can put anything into research. Oscillating kinetic obstructions of cyclonic barrier technology are added to the ship. This should help the ship survive blasts like those that destroyed the first Normandy. All right. Now, 
I think the next episode will be a Normandy dialogue mission. No messages for you, Commander. And then we'll get back to completing our squad mates' personal missions. Let's save it. And again, guys, I am Aesop Grimm. Thank you for coming by the channel. I hope you like what you saw. I hope all is well in your neck of the woods. And I will see you in the next episode where this story continues.